I'm Eileen from ET Speed from Home. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you this Karcher rain system. I'm going to open up the box and show you what's inside there and how I fix it. So let's take a look inside the box. Let's remove this plastic cover. And then it comes with a box. It's a very handy box with all the bits inside here. And next, this is the 10 meter soaker hose. Um, it's made from cloth and inside here is the rubber. Okay. And we here we have the 15 meter uh, rain system hose here. So this is the one that is uh, the rigid one. Right, let's take a look at this box now. So this is what is inside the box, the accessory. First, I have this G1 um, tap connector. So that is for the tap. And it does have the G3 slash G4 reduction piece in for you to connect. Okay, right. Then I have this coupling. Okay, it's where you connect it while your tap to here before you connect the rest of the system. And this is the ceiling collar, okay? And you have one filter, it's called the filter or you can call it as the uh, pressure reduction. So you just reduce the uh, water pressure, okay? And you have four of these T connector in here. So basically, once you connect both and the water was split and then at the same time it was split towards the end here. And this is the eye connector. You will have four inside the set. And then lastly, you have this a f five of this um, holes and seal. So basically, once you reach the end, you need something to seal that that's the one that you need to use. Then you have 10 of these um, holes spike where you just simply open it. There's a sharp needle here, step it through. And then this is where you can control your pressure, how much water you want it to go on. And lastly, I have five of these. Um, this is the um, spear where you spill into the ground to keep your holes um, from moving around and then it come with this rubber ring here to stop your holes from coming up right so now next I'm going to demonstrate how I um, set up the rain system so this is the outside tap so insert the G1 tap connector, which have the G3 slash G4 reduction here. So I screw it in. So now I'm going to use this connector, which will go onto the tap. I get this um, hose. So I just unscrew this to show you how it looks like. Right, put this in and then push right into the gap there it's really hard to push it in okay once you think you're done tighten this up next you need a very sharp scissors and cut to the desired length that you want okay this okay next I'm gonna use this um, ceiling collar to uh, connect it here Again, just release this. I'm just going to release it fully so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, just pop this in. So now, just put chip right in, which is quite hard to push it in. So once it's in, you just tighten it here. So next, I put the filter or you can call it as the pressure reduction in here. Next, I have cut enough uh, length of these uh, holes. I unscrew this bit, put this through. Again, just push this right in there, okay? Make sure it's all the way in before you uh, close it tight. So make sure that it's all 
right in before you screw it tight. Next, I'm going to show you this soaker hose. Uh, it's made from cloth here and then it's rubble inside here. Right, just unscrew this. Again, pop this in here. And then, gonna pop this right to the end. Okay, it's uh, not that easy to pop it in. Right, so I pop it in, I can uh, screw it tight here. So this is the end of the soaker hose. Uh, I and to close the system up, I need this um, close end. So it's the same thing again, open it up like this, pop this in here. Okay, and again, there's this yellow tubing in here and then push it in before you tighten it up. Okay. So this is the end of the rainwater system. So now I just pop this coupling in here. So this is a very tight, secure um, system. So to secure the rain system down onto the ground, I'm using this spike, you can see, it come with this rubber ring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the hose into here, okay? Just pop it in and then I have this rubber to uh, secure it okay so once it's done I can pierce this right into the ground next is I'm going to create a drip collar uh, on the hose part here um, ideally it's better for the sprayer but it's not in the set so I have to use this drip collar for the plant over here so what I'm going to do is open up this if you can see there's this sharp needle here you're just going to pierce it through like this okay so you pierce it right into the holes and then you clip it So this is how it's going to look like. So I plug the hose into the outdoor tap and then we have the filter and around the tree I have this uh, drip collar and then here as you can see is the soak hose. Uh, I'm not going to tuck into the plant right now because if I tuck it in I cannot demonstrate how it gonna look like okay and then right at the end I have placed the close end there so now I have turned on the water and you can see the water is gushing through the filter or we can call it as the pressure reduction and next here is where I put the drip collar again you can adjust the amount of water to come out by adjusting the knob here okay it's quite hard for me to do it now but I will try okay that's you can just control it while here so this is the soaker hose as you can see the water gushing through quite slowly through the cloth Inside the yellow tube in there, there's a few holes and then it will come up through the cloth and then it will slowly um, distribute the water around the flower area. So this is the water system. Now you cannot see any single tube because I have hide right into the lavender. So whenever I need it, I just turn on the water and it will water the plant for me. So I have tucked right into the plant itself. Overall, this is very easy to set it up. The hose is easy to cut by heavy duty scissors. Um, I would suggest that uh, you plan your whole range system before you start 
um, attaching it so that you will roughly know how many do you need because you might require to buy um, extra accessory to set up the whole uh, rain system for your garden uh, in my gar uh, in my garden I did not use the uh, T connector because it's uh, it's not uh, necessary at all but it just worked the same thing where you have another output of water to another area of your garden otherwise this is very straightforward to set it up if you have any question just pop onto my comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.